Hi everyone, so this is going to be our little presentation on our virtual summer reading kickoff. And to introduce, this is Megan Mulbert, who is the Hamburg Middle School Librarian. So we work together, the English department and I work together every year to modify our summer reading plans. And with the pandemic that made it a little interesting this year, um, and I'm really hoping, working with Lauren, that we can inspire some some extra reading, hopeful that the students do at least the minimum. So what we require is two books of their choice, and then they complete two assignments after reading each book. Um, they do have a variety of choices from written to artistic options and also a video they can submit or an online book review. And to just give a brief explanation of the options that they have for completing the summer reading assignments, they have the options of a written response, which is choosing between a couple prompts to give a paragraph answer. Uh, they've got a book review, which is where they will complete a paragraph on a review of the book that they read. They also have the option of a video book talk, which is where they submit a video that's at least two minutes in length that talks about the book that they read for the summer. Another two options that they have are building text connections, which is where they will take four direct quotes from the book that they read and they will write a short response as to how it connects to the overall plot. And the last thing that they can do is giving a gift to one of their characters that they thought was important from the book. So next, here are just a couple examples of titles that would be great to use for this 2020 reading project. Um, and Mrs. Mulbert and I are actually going to be talking about a little brief description of each book. So the first is the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. We've been waiting for this for a while. This is from the Hunger Games series by Suzanne Collins. It is the prequel and it follows the story of Coriolanus Snow, who ended up president in the later books and what he goes through as a mentor in the games. And for this next book, this is This Was Our Pact. Um, this is just a book that's about four boys who go out and they try to find the untold secrets of the place that they live in and they end up finding a talking bear. For the next book, this is Colorblind. This is a graphic novel autobiography that was written by an African-American man who in his childhood faced a lot of hardships and discrimination. Next we have Hey Kiddo by Jarrett Przoska. This is a wonderful and heartbreaking graphic novel that is also an autobiography about Jared's life in his childhood, growing up with a mother who was addicted to drugs and living with his grandparents and dealing with all of that. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Next, we have New Kid by Jerry Craft. This actually won the Newberry this year, January of 2020. It is about Jordan, who lives in an African-American neighborhood, as he is, but he's going to a new school that is primarily white. Um, he's almost living different lives between the two and trying to, you know, manage the difference. It's a wonderful story and I'm very glad it won the Newberry. Next we have the Graveyard Book. This also was a Newberry winner in the past. Uh, I'm holding the graphic novel version of it, actually. This is about a boy whose parents were killed. He ends up living in a graveyard being raised by ghosts trying to figure out what happened to his parents. So the next book, um, this is I Am Alfonso Jones. This is a book that's about an African-American male who is very excited to begin a role in his school play of Hamlet, but on his way home in a costume one night, he actually is shot and killed by a police officer. So it's a very interesting story about his how his ghost comes back and just kind of sees what happened. Who is Harvey Milk? This is from the popular series, Who Is, Who Was? The students have really enjoyed. This particular one is about a man who was uh, born uh, many years ago, Jewish boy who, very normal, um, playing football. He ended up becoming a politician. He was one of the first openly gay men to run for office in the US. Next we have Spinning. This is um, a graphic novel, autobiography, about a girl who's trying to come to terms with her life. Um, she 
She is a lesbian. She is a skater um, dealing with a lot of things, including bullying and normal things that young people go through. All American Boys, this is by Jason Reynolds, um, similar to I Am Alfonso Jones, but this is realistic fiction. It is about a boy who is mistaken um, for stealing and the officer beats him up um, and puts him in the hospital. And it, the story goes through two different lines between the, the white cop and the black young man and how they are handling the situation. Our next book that we're going to talk about is Ghost. Um, this is a book about a boy whose name was Ghost. Uh, he was a track runner and it talks about how his track career actually started from when he was a little boy when his father was chasing him and his mother around with a gun. Um, this talks about a lot of hard-hitting topics and it's a great book. Um, this is a great realistic fiction book. Um, for the last one for realistic fiction, this is Stargazing. This book is actually going to be talked about in depth by one of my students later, so I won't get too much into this. Next, we have two titles by Alan Gratz, Project 1065, which won an award in 2018, and Refugee, a one that I personally love. Uh, he writes a lot of historical fiction books. Refugee in particular was about three different kids from three different time periods who found themselves fleeing from their home uh, because of conditions and wars that were going on. In the end, the three stories are tied together. Um, and this is just a wonderful book. So overall, I just wanted to give you guys a couple ideas as to books that you can read for your summer reading assignments. Um, I hope that Mrs. Mulbert and I gave you a good background as to a couple of the books and gave you some ideas for some that you can read yourself. Um, if you have any questions or if you need any help finding these books, feel free to reach out to Mrs. Mulbert or myself. Um, also, feel free to reach out to your public librarians. They are more than willing to help you find those books.